resume with Ira. Uh, I just um, went through something interesting the other day, and I thought I would share it with you. Um, the other day, I went to, <laughs> ironically, a workshop called um, What Does Freedom from Gender Oppression Look Like? I unfortunately had to leave early, and so I only um, got to see the introduction. Otherwise, I would share more about the specific workshop with you. Um, but I, I got there early, and just before the facility that was hosting the workshop was open, and so um, me and this person who now lives with me, um, who is a cis woman, uh, we were we were waiting outside, and, and outside there were three really obviously drunk persons, right? And and so they're they're cat calling us, and when I say us, I mean literally us, like both of us, me and me and this person who now lives with me, and um. And so it was just in, it was just really interesting. Um, I haven't been misgendered. I don't get misgendered very often. Um, I used to get misgendered a lot, uh, so I was I was just taken off guard. Um, but it was just really interesting being misgendered during a time when I'm typically not misgendered, and not like and this wasn't you know, specifically like a tactical form of misgendering, like this person sincerely thought it was a woman, and so, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and it was funny, because I found, I found, like, my guttural reaction being, um, all right, Ira, make your voice lower if you can, Ira, do this if you can, Ira, reference masculine things without coming off as offended or whatever, and really, I should have just, I should have just said, I'm, I'm not a girl, but it took me a while to recognize that it was happening, um, but yeah, so yeah, uh, he was, this this one person was um, talking to us about where we were from and stuff, and so I told him, you know, from Southern Southern California, and this person was also from Southern California, and um, and so because of that, or, and because of, I don't know, my complexion and my hair being dark and things like that, um, this person started referring to me as Chicana. Um, and so that was interesting. They they referred to me as Chicana and my friend as Blondie. And um it's it was happy because my friend, um, once they realized that I was being misgendered, which was about the same time that I realized I was being misgendered too, uh, they were like, Oh no, I'm not the one from Southern California, he's the one from Southern California. And so then all three of them were like because all three of them sincerely thought I was a woman and so um, they were really confused, and so they were like, wait, hold up, we, what? And, and they were taken aback, and, and they didn't know what to say, and, you know, they were sorry, and, <laughs> but not only, not only were they sorry that they had done, you know, what is often considered a mis like a dehumanizing act against me, but they were also sorry that, that they had treated, that, you know, that their perception of me was altered, and, um, and so it's just it's just an interesting concept um, because a lot of the time I'll get into arguments about misgendering with people and how misgendering is wrong and you know and a lot of the pseudo liberal one like douchey cis people will be like well why can't we just get past gender I really don't care what pronouns you using you know use on me ever blah 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 um, <laughs> and and I'll probably make a video about why we can't just get past gender and how oh, that shit pisses me off <laughs> but um. It was it was interesting because, you know, these three people who odds are they really have no concept of like trans politics, um, or cis sexism, um, and that's just a guess. But pro they probably don't. Um, immediately recognized that when they were taking part in misgendering that it was something that is socially unacceptable, um, and and it's something that's just rude and messed up. Um, and so it's funny that these random people who really have no concept of gender outside of a binary, outside of the sexism, most likely, understand <laughs> how misgendering can be really harmful um, when, you know, the, the liberal, enlightened person doesn't seem to get it a lot of the time. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd, I'd share that with you. Um, it was just a really weird, interesting experience. Um, I do also want to say that, like, as someone who presents as a man, what is, it's very different being catcalled now than it, than it was as someone who presented as a woman. 
uh, prior to my transition. It's a lot different because it was just funny. It was just absolutely ridiculous. I didn't I didn't feel unsafe at all. I don't know if my friend felt unsafe. Odds are she probably may have. But um, I didn't feel unsafe because of the fact that I know that I was being misgendered and that if they had seen me as the way that I present, then they wouldn't they wouldn't have cat called me. I had that I had that reassurance in the back of my mind. You know, I this is actually like not you're not supposed to be cat called right now because sexism exists and uh and so yeah, I just and it go, it goes back to that to that to that reality just because I experience something once does not mean that I experience it wherever I go and on on an, on an institutional level meaning that I can't reclaim that and take up that form of activism. So this is not about like men's rights, men get catcalled too, or rather I as a man got catcalled, but I experienced being catcalled differently than a woman because sexism exists. Um, and so yeah, just an interesting experience that I thought I'd share with you all. Um, if you've had anything like that, like I'd like to hear about your experiences too. Uh, yeah, and I will talk to you all later. Okay, bye.